All right. In today's video, we are going to take a look at factoring quadratics using area models. We've already spent some time um, using area models to multiply binomials together. So this is just trying to reverse that process. And we're going to take advantage of the things that we learned when we were doing the process the other direction. So namely that when we built our area model, always was in four pieces and the quadratic piece, the piece that ended up with the x squared, always ended up in this square and the constant piece, the one that didn't have an x in it at all, ended up here and then the linear piece ended up as a combination of things that showed up in these two boxes. So if we look at what we're trying to do right now, our quadratic piece is the 2x squared. So this would have to end up with a 2x squared in there. And the constant piece, the minus 15, shows up here as a minus 15. Now, there's some things that we can already add to our box because that's the case. If we are going to get a 2x squared in this, then this would have to look something like 2x and x, that would make sense. Now in other problems there may be more combinations of things that might show up there. Um, but 2 really only has the two factors, so that makes this a little bit easier. The other thing that we know then is that uh, we've got to get a couple of things that will multiply together to give us this negative 15 that is here in the uh, linear box get rid of that dot that I put on there. So we have to think of things that multiply together to give us 15. So we have uh, things like 3 and 5, and one's going to have to be positive, and one's going to be uh, have to be negative. And as we do this early on, we may make uh, guesses that are wrong along the way, but we'll kind of demonstrate that and how to adjust for that, and the idea being that eventually our guesses will get better as we start to see patterns. So this has to be, this I've got as a negative 3 and a positive 5 there because this box, if it is negative 3 tall and positive 5 wide, negative 3 times 15 will give us an area there of negative 15. So, that now forces us to say, well, this box is negative 3 tall, and from up here, it is x wide, so the area of this box would be negative 3x. This one is 5 wide and 2x tall, coming from over that direction, and so that would have an area of 10x. And if I evaluated what this whole box looks like then, I have the 2x squared, which is good, that's what I wanted. I've got a plus 10x and a minus 3x, and I have the minus 15. And the problem is that when I throw all of these together, I get a, oops, yeah, bring that up a little bit. I get a 2x squared. 10x minus 3x is plus 7x minus 15, but that's not the number or not the uh, equation that I was trying to get, the expression. I was trying to get this one up here, this 2x squared minus x minus 15, but I got a plus 7x, which tells me I need to change the choices that I made in my diagram. Okay, so... I will try another one. Um, again, I'm confident of the 2x squared there, and I'm confident of the negative 15 there. And I can leave the 2x and the x as they were. But now I'm going to, I'll just try switching and making a positive 5 and a negative 3. And if I do that, then the area here, this is x wide, 5 tall, that gives me a 5x. This one is negative 3 wide and 2x tall, so that gives me a negative 6x. 
And when I put those pieces together, I get a 2x squared uh, minus 6x plus 5x and minus 15, which is the 2x squared minus 1x minus 15. That's the one that I was looking for. My box is built correctly. And so my final answer, I'm going to read off of the outside dimensions of the box. Instead of expressing the area as a sum of these four pieces, I'm going to express it as a product of the length and width of my box, which are x minus 3 and 2x plus 5. And that is the factored form of 2x squared minus x minus 15. All right, let's try one more example here and get some of this stuff out of the way. So we are going to try to factor 4x squared minus 9. This one might prove to be a little bit easier. We are trying to show just the basics of what's going on here. But we have our quadratic part, which we'll have to show up there. We have the constant part, which will show up there. Um, and then these parts in the middle apparently have to cancel each other out to make this happen. So we'll start by trying to make this a 2x and a 2x. That seems reasonable. Things that multiply together, together to give me 9 are 3 and negative 3. I can try it that way. And when I multiply these together, this is 2x tall, it's negative 3 wide, so that gives me minus 6x. This is 2x wide and 3 tall, that gives me an area of positive 6x. So if I write what I have, that is a 4x squared minus 6x plus 6x and minus 9. And if we combine those things together, I get 4x squared minus 9, which is exactly what we were looking for because these two pieces came from these on this diagonal, cancel each other out exactly. So my factored form, I will read from the outside dimensions of the box. And I see that in this case as being a 2x minus 3 times a 2x plus 3. There's a couple of examples of how we use the area model to do that. It does take a little bit of guessing sometimes, so you have to be prepared to make multiple area models and to test them and try them. Don't just assume that they're right the first one that you did. It's easy to check to see if you actually did it right, and you should do that. The more of them you do, your guesses should start to get better.